speaking of overstock, um, they have basically released a list of all of their um, countries that are they're going to allow Bitcoin payments from those countries. Um, so long list, and um, I think the 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 service officially goes live on the Overstock International website on September 1st. So starting September 1st, um, basically almost the whole world will be able to um, buy Overstock products with Bitcoin directly. Um, the 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 list includes basically, you know, all developed cu countries, um, even like most Latin American countries, South American countries. Um, the only ones that are really excluded are the countries that you know are kind of outcasts in the international community: Iran, North Korea. Um, yeah, and and they really um, Overstock really can't do business with them because of uh, you know laws or trade laws restrictions. Like no, like no business can, no business in the U.S. can trade with those countries. So. You know, it's not it's not something that Overstock is deliberately trying to do. I'm sure if Patrick Byrne had his way, he would he would op he would open his doors to all those countries. But you know, it's just he's not legally able to. Right. Even if they're paying in Bitcoin, they yeah. Like basically, U.S. companies aren't allowed to do business at all with with Cuba and and stuff like that. But he would yeah, you're right. He would love to. It'd be good for his business. That the this expansion itself is going to be great for his business. I can see why they're doing it. They would love to get, you know, Bitcoin payments from the entire world. Yeah, and um, you know, we can't forget that a few months ago, Patrick Byrne announced that um, Overstock would be using three percent of its Bitcoin profits to spread Bitcoin awareness. So, hopefully, this mm -hmm. generates. Um, generates more Bitcoin business with Overstock and it turns that 3% into a much bigger dollar amount, uh, you know, and then hopefully they won't just give it all to the Bitcoin Foundation because, you know, they would just flush it down the toilet. But, um, you know, hopefully it would give Overstock more money to be able to help spread Bitcoin awareness across the globe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Um... I mean that that basically like it's it's creating like a um like a kind of a side service really from Overstock, you know, get all these payments in Bitcoin from globally all these countries across the world, and then use part of it to promote Bitcoin even more across the world. You know, creating like a domino effect almost. Yeah, yeah, and uh, recently uh, it was a, a news story like a couple of days ago, maybe sometime last week. Uh, they announced that, um, or Overstock announced that they were doing, you know, approximately fifteen thousand dollars a day worth of Bitcoin transactions. You know, in the in the big things, you know, Overstock is a billion dollar company, so fifteen thousand dollars isn't a lot. Um, but considering how new Bitcoin is and how small it is compared to the dollar, um, you know, that's a pretty, you know, that's a pretty decent chunk of money going to Overstock every day in yeah. Bitcoins. And that would have blown people's minds, even just a year ago to hear yeah. that like a major US like online retailer gets fifteen thousand dollars in Bitcoin payments every single day. Like that's that that would that would be a big deal last year. That would be that would be bullish news, you know, last year. Yeah, but ne but you know, now everybody's like, oh, fifteen thousand dollars, that's nothing. You know, they're never gonna do anything with Bitcoin until they start making like a million dollars a day in profit. <laughs> <laughs> Like $15,000 is a lot of money. It doesn't matter who you are.